B1 English Test GESA Grade 5 Trinity College London For indefinite leave to remain in the UK Permanent Settlement British Citizenship Naturalization and Permanent Residency Self-Secure English Language Tests This is Trinity College London GESE Graded Examinations in Spoken English My name is Angelina I am your interlocutor for your speaking exam today What's your full name? My name is Aksarika. <clears throat> What's your topic's title for today? Uh, my topic title for today is hobbies. What are your five topic points? My five topic points are uh, spending time with my family, meeting with my friends, traveling, shopping, and eating out. How do you spend time with your family? Uh, and I like to spend time with my family to do uh, many types of activities. Like I like to watch TV with my family. I like to go out with my family. I like to go to the park with my family. And I like to do shopping with my family. Do you think it is important to spend time with family? Yeah, it's very important to spend time with family because uh, yeah, it makes uh, make our relationship strong and we can share our uh, problems and happiness with them. Okay, where do you usually like to go shopping? I like to go shopping uh, uh, is one... Uh, a shopping mall, it's called Glasgow Fort. It's near to my house. What do you like about that shopping center? Mm, I like everything. Like, uh, I like to get ju uh, jewelry, clothes, uh, sh uh, some shoes. Okay, that's all right. Uh, how often do you go there? Mostly I like to go there on weekend. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. And could you share an experience when you met your friends recently? Uh, yeah, I met my friend uh, on last weekend and it was uh, very a good experience uh, we had a lot of fun and uh, we we went to the uh, restaurant to eat uh, food and uh, after food after eating food we went to the uh, uh, go shopping to do shopping All right, uh, okay. So, could you tell me about a place where you'd like to eat out? Yeah, I like to eat uh, in Pakistani restaurants. Like, uh, uh, it, uh, it, it, one restaurant in my town, it's called Ambala. It's a Pakistani restaurant. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Five minutes are gone for the part one. Now let's move to part two. I would like to have a conversation with you about a special day in your life. So could you please tell me about a special day in your life? Um, yeah. Uh, it's uh, one day. Uh, uh, it's date uh, 13 September. Because my daughter is uh, was come in this day in my life, so it was a very special day for me. I was very happy to see my daughter. Okay, and uh, do you have any other special occasion that you usually like to celebrate every year? 
yeah uh, it, it one is a uh, uh, eid eid special occasion uh, i like to celebrate this every year i really like this hmm okay so uh, do you like to invite people on special occasion to meet you yeah i really like to invite people in my house like uh, uh, i i mostly i invite my friends in my house and sometimes uh, my family hmm. okay and um now could you ask me two questions about my favorite special day in my life uh all right Uh, what is your fav uh, fav special day in your life? Hmm. I think the most special day in my life is Mother's Day. All right. Uh, why do you like this day? Uh, I believe I like it just because uh, it really makes me feel good to understand the value and the love that. my mother gives to me and you know make her feel good in return i think that's why i really like that day all right now let's move to the next conversation we are going to talk about the places you like to travel so what kinds of places do you usually like for holiday mm, i like to go uh other countries to uh, spend my holidays like uh, uh, turkey paris dubai or something hmm can you share an experience with me a recent experience when you traveled to your favorite holiday destination uh yeah we went to uh, dubai last year and it was a very good experience for me because uh, we had a lot of fun there and i took lots of picture uh, uh and and uh, we and we had a, a very nice food over there and uh, dubai is very good place to go for holiday hmm okay that's very nice so how do you usually travel uh for holiday uh i like to uh, travel by uh aeroplane when i'm going out of country somewhere hmm hmm that's, yeah, that's nice because... so what kind of things do you pack when you travel for holiday what things are essential important i think um I like to pack uh, uh many clothes and for me and uh some shoes to wear and some uh other things like uh, uh toothpaste uh, toothbrush is important and and uh some some things for eat like crepes or a basket or something Hmm. Okay, that's nice. It's good. Um, can you ask me some questions about traveling? Yeah. Um, what is your most favorite place to travel for holiday? I think my most favorite place uh would be some island. Okay. Um. Uh, are you went there? Uh, uh, before. Yes, a couple of times. Have uh, you Have you went there before? Oh, yeah. Have you? Hmm. What did you do there? Okay, that's a that's also a good question. Okay, just Zamina was asking me two questions. Okay, beautiful you. can pass okay i see that um just just i feel that you can do it okay it's not that hard okay. just uh thing is this 
be confident okay and okay. Uh, fashion and environment to be very honest like it's rare examiner just questions you about the simplest things but students don't get it you understand but you have to yeah. try to get it what he's asking you know because uh, mm. you can't memorize english you need to understand like people usually try to learn answers to questions because they think that maybe the topic i have learned but examiner can ask you in any way in any way you know the sentence might be a little yeah. different from the english that i use every day right yeah yeah sometimes you know basic thing that they do is they try to use vocabulary like i said okay tell me about and uh, tell me about the things that are essential for holiday now you don't know essential right you'll be upset what is essential yeah. Yeah. so uh just like this let me look up uh, for a list of words for b1 okay uh i think they have given a pdf somewhere i've seen it not for trinity but for language cert b1 they have given it right so uh i'll try to look up and give that to you go through the words okay go through the words at least once you know uh okay. the words that you know we are not supposed to run after that but Go, when you will read the list just feel uh, just try, try to understand these are the words that i know these are the words that i don't know okay all right all right 